Well, smoking is the leading cause of fire deaths in America. And we now know that improper disposal of cigarettes is what caused the Millwood fire that killed two young children Monday morning. Marissa Rio was at the Coeur d'Alene Fire Department today to show you the safest way to dispose of cigarettes. We've all seen someone do this, or maybe we've done it ourselves. Someone will smoke a cigarette like this and then casually throw it on the ground outside. Sometimes you'll even see a person step on it and think that the flame is out. Well, that's all it takes to start a deadly fire. A Coeur d'Alene fire official says it's too often that they see people disposing of cigarettes in plastic containers, like a used coffee can. Of course, the plastic can catch fire and burn and becomes its own fuel. So uh, they think just because you throw a little water in it that, you know, that's that's OK. But then all of a sudden you just keep adding cigarettes and cigarettes and cigarettes. And pretty soon that bottle's not extinguishing the cigarette. As you can see here, when we threw a cigarette in into a coffee container. It didn't catch fire, but it did burn a chunk out of the plastic. This could have easily resulted in a fire. So what is the best type of ashtray to use? You just want something that's non-combustible, so metal, ceramic. Placement of your ashtray is also important. Etherton says a lot of times people smoke outside, so that's where they keep their ashtrays. This can be next to trees or bushes which can catch fire. Oh, Etherton also advises to not keep your ashtrays next to any combustibles inside, which are? Sofas, couches, curtains, right? A lot of the same stuff that we talk about when we talk about safety with, with um, candle safety, right? Um, any of those light flowy type things are bedding. CDA Fire has other tips as well. Have an escape plan. Check the batteries in your smoke detectors and close before you doze. In the case of a house fire, a closed bedroom door could save your life while you wait for firefighters to arrive. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.